Maxor is a beautiful beautiful i love his videos his videos are crazy but i'm not gonna lie every time i watch his videos my body just goes into fight or flight mode and i'm just gonna put it out there violence is never the answer but in situations like this it might just have to be the solution Today, guys, we are going to be reacting to Maxor's incorrect summary of Ultra Kill video. You guys seem to absolutely love it when I react to his content, so let's do it again. I haven't actually searched up what Ultra Kill is purely because I want to have this game freshly explained to me through Maxor's eyes. Like, that man is an absolute genius. The last couple of times that he's done an incorrect summary of games, I feel like I was kind of at an advantage because I've somewhat dipped my toes into the last couple of games that Maxor has explained to us, except for Metal Gear Rising and Bloodborne. Like, I've heard about those games, you know, through the grapevine but i'd never played them myself but doom oh buddy doom i have played i have experienced and my god i am angry but this time we're going into this with no knowledge whatsoever no experience just nothing and you know what i'm kind of scared mom come pick me up i'm scared but before we fuck around and find out boys today's video is sponsored by g2a g2a is an online marketplace where you can buy games keys gift cards and so much more at a fantastic price i'm actually really excited about today's sponsorship because this one is dedicated to supporting fellow women in the gaming industry and the timing is even more perfect seeing as international women's day has just gone by g2a has come out with a campaign dedicated to celebrating women in the gaming industry all around the world with great deals on games for gifts or just to play on your own following iconic female characters such as Lara Croft in the Tomb Raider series, or if you're wanting to support games made by women, there are so many amazing games to choose from, like the Uncharted series being one of them. Or if you can't decide, surprise yourself with a random key for under a dollar. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda tempted. <laughs> So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join us in supporting our fellow gamer girls. On a completely different note though, guys, when it comes to a crazy cracked out video, Maxor is a beautiful, beautiful. I love his videos. His videos are crazy, but I'm not gonna lie. Every time I watch his videos, my body just goes into fight or flight mode and I'm just gonna put it out there. Violence is never the answer, but in situations like this, it might just have to be the solution. Let's do this. <laughs> in the world, you have tribulation. Wait, wait, wait. We have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Oh, this video contains a lot of flashing lights. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mankind is a failure. Okay, what? Well, what? Machine. Oh. You will answer is this all now to the will of God. For I am the righteous hand of the. Is that Senyata? What does that even mean? Oh, yeah, I'm coming for that one. You call shooting a coin a martial art? This is Ultra Kill. It is a game. You can play it. I hope you are not startled by the screaming. Set in the distant future of 2019, we play as the world's first vampiric Nikon, programmed with one singular goal, kill Margaret Thatcher. Thus, we embark on our journey into the deepest, darkest pits of hell, where we can find normal things that make the game very fun, featuring such polygonal challenges as Crash Bandicoot and uh, puzzles of color. The devs are a little bit eccentric. For some backstory, this game is loosely based on a 14th century fan fiction about God. Therefore, what you are about to see is canon to the Christverse. I will not be accused this of blasphemy This kind of reminds again. me of Zenyatta mixed said, with a bit of doom. The game goes harder than diamonds. And after this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see Wait, harder than diamonds? I'm so excited right now. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Uh, oh. Hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Jesus. Welcome back to uh, fucking Undertale. So the game begins in a hallway, and I do not have permission <laughs> to use the restroom. When I am lost, I always keep a lookout for my two best buddies. Smith and Wesson. So the game just kind of gets going immediately. I have interrupted elevator it's pretty music much time. Doom. This level begins as a tutorial, primarily focused on executing basic mechanics as well as be disabled, preferably oh, yeah. from a high drop. In this game, <laughs> explosions and gore are plentiful, but as per my design as a sentient fucking GoPro, my gears must be greased with the blood of the innocent. My power source is Vampire Piston, which means the more blood, the better. It is the yes. only thing I know for heal. There will be bloodshed. And as far as healing systems go, this is the best one because it forces the player 
to actually play the game to restore their health. But that's enough about mechanics because it's time it's to like... fight the uh. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Oh, it's the oh. funny rock. Use this rock to instantly become funny. This game looks pretty hard too. Oh. I think my oh. copy of Elden Never Ring mind. is broken. <laughs> Hey there, my fellow girls. Welcome to level two. We have Amazon. Here you'll buy the most important item in the entire game. That's right, the power to throw coins. Because I was like, wait a minute, aim it at when you can aim at a target the size of a fucking coin. This shit is amazing. The hit is guaranteed, regardless of the coin's location, even if that coin's location is space or just the inside of an enemy a few times. But besides that, the mission is pretty That's wicked. The mission is pretty normal. In fact, it's a little too normal. One could call it suspicious. Have you heard of the hit game Among Us? We have to vent like the sus imposter. It's the only way to get the lean skull, which I assure you is required to access the secret door, which apparently just ends the level. Now, as I would soon learn, there is a reason this is a secret mission, because now it is able to escape. Oh, it's my YouTube career. I am in great danger. Do not Google Danger Force Season 2 Episode 1. In this what? level, we need to find our way through the back rooms without making too much noise. Because if you can hear it, then it has definitely heard you. My favorite part is the persistent darkness and a horrifying droning noise as it creeps every corner. Really ups the entertainment factor. <laughs> now, of course, you can what shoot it, but that? that will only set it back. It is inevitable. Do you have any games on your phone? <laughs> Let's just, uh, get the fuck out of here. I no longer wish to play in the Markiplier maze. Shinji, crank that soldier boy. Play that. Okay, level three. Let's just uh take a look at the catalog. Never mind. So to make it through this mission, we have to use our coins with a lot of nuance and a subtlety, just like Ted Kaczynski ascending up the normal staircase very competently. We meet the only problem that money cannot solve. That's right, road construction. Rocks. And for that, we're going to need high explosives. Normally, that's unavailable unless you try hard enough. Oh Jesus Christ! It's the feds. They're here to shoot my dog. This is the Jason enemy, notable for his geometric style headgear and a free shotgun. His AI is hey. a single-celled organism. I want you to fucking guess how I fought him. Following this fight, we Point? acquire our Point. next weapon, the Remington Grenade Launcher, which we can use to finally eliminate obstacles to progress. But that isn't what's important about the shotgun. What is important is that I can, uh, punch the bullets. I'm fucking sorry, what? You see, Ultra Kill is a game that lets you parry all kinds of attacks, and shotgun shells just so happen to count as a projectile. So, uh, guess what that means? I'm going to mail these pipe bombs with same-day shipping. It makes the bullets go faster. I really hope you don't mind, but, uh, I'm going to use this Imagine for the rest of the game. Imagine being that much of an that alpha that you can just shoot much, and just go for it. It can get worse. Upon that diligently is mad. researching the, uh, larger calibers, we make the discovery that I can load my shotgun a bit more than necessary. That's right. Dude, We've there's no such thing as not loving it I'm enough. I'm going to join my race. Wait, uncle in Valhalla. What? I find this mode very useful for Wait, he uh, say racist uncle? the minus dimension. The uh the Linus dimension. Does anyone need some tech tips? Uh is he okay? Oh my god, he's hitting the gritty. I, oh, I, I see. I this is one of those platforming levels. My favorite platform is YouTube. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. That's a weird way to spell Twitter. What the fuck? You have Uno. No, I don't. It comes free with your Xbox. I don't have Uno. You have fucking Uno. <laughs> Bruh, it's a new pit bull to euthanize. I know he has a basketball, but I was not expecting him to dunk that shit. This man is actually bawling. He caught me wearing them fake J's. Now, this may not be a long fight, but what is there teaches a valuable lesson to the player. What is the it? lesson what is, is, it? What is up, it? use crack. You know, like me, whenever oh, I yeah. use the computer, do not under any circumstances touch the ground. So I'm after dodging his many dark. dribbles and dunks, we eventually reach <laughs> halftime, causing SpongeBob and the crew to enter the arena and sing a song. Oh my god, it's my two favorite basketball players, Ornstein and Smo. I I didn't even know you could play Uno what? 2v1. So you do have fucking oh no, I've put him in his red state. He has absorbed the power of Ornstein. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my secret weapon, money. <laughs> Never fails. Shinji, I really like how they filled this room with up. Uh, Dude, I feel statues. like my fight or flight has just been activated. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> It is finally time to enter the elevator, also known as California. Hell has got to be a good time. After all, it's where my subscribers live. Oh man, I bet it's got lakes of blood and shit. Oh, welcome to Minecraft. Hell, we oh. have a uh, realistic bird noises Minecraft? and also the uh, machine. Giant. I have taken a selfie with the funny rock. All right, never mind. Honestly, this level is pretty chill. I spent most of it delivering human skulls, but you know what I find really yeah, no, it just sounds like a Saturday night. Equipment. After sounds all, the nail gun is great for putting people to sleep. Ooh. Honestly, I wish I had more of an explanation, Ooh. but it just kind of liberates their insides. This rifle is uh, not chambered <laughs> for nuance. Their hey guys, I'm, I'm Ian from Forgotten Weapons, and today we're going to be killing a man. Just uh, don't give the statue anything. 
No boy. That actually worked. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. Is it another oh, no. secret level? It's worse. I have to do fucking puzzles. Oh, Max, <laughs> you should play Ultra Kill. I'm sure you'll love all 26 of the puzzles. Here's a puzzle for the game developers. How long until I reach your house? And here I thought the level was supposed to be relaxing, but it's just so... Oh, they're not even cooked right. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh, who do I have to fucking- Oh! Oh god, never mind. That shit is harder than Ganyu's hips. So, uh, welcome to the fire enemy. It has this unique ability called the fucking jump scare. And no, I cannot turn off the screaming. They were designed without self-preservation. You know what? I don't want to go to the family barbecue. I think I belong in the, uh, secret cartel tunnels underneath El Paso. How's about we just let ourselves in? Oh, cool. It's, a uh, an abandoned asylum. Can't wait to see what lives here. What? It's a regular sized rat. He's celebrating yet another rat, birthday rat. bash. Oh, sir, shit, sir a rat. stop resisting. It had to be done. Let us never speak of this again. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Welcome to the real boss fight in the game. You actually have to play it. Chuck E. Cheese is no longer fucking what? asking. How about we just, uh, vibrate it until its organs explode? I'm going to forget this is here. Moving on from the Disney business model, we enter a challenge that offers us a choice. Blue team Winnie or Hunt red Jr. team, comment your team below. And if you do both, you get to fight whatever this shit is. I love being able to understand my screen. Really sorry if you thought this video was going to have a bit rate. Anyways, to finish this level, I chose to take the harder route because as a gamer, it really hits my erect penile pecker. Oh, hey, look, it's a skull. Oh, yeah, you know. Go, go, erect Gadget penile coins. pecker. My favorite I detail vibrated. is that if you do the hard route. My pee pee. My pee pee? He just proved itself. The game just drops you inside the easy route, so you're forced to do both of them. Nothing a little bee hopping can't fix. Man, what a nice looking rock. Hey guys, oh. What is going on and oh no, it's, it's fucking Holy handicapped. Shit. Is that... <laughs> what? Dude, Welcome half the stuff the I'm Dennis scared to laugh fight, at. Also known as your mom. Got him. Now, I could ah. spend time explaining this boss, but that requires that I understand it. This shit <laughs> is goddamn incomprehensible. I want to congratulate the devs on the first non-Euclidean enemy. Of you course, say. that is implying that you can see him, because the grapple attack makes that a little difficult, just like doing literally anything else. So if you do get grappled, get ready to convert, because God can't help anymore. And because this boss has armor, the only way to damage him is to hit him in his bell icon, preferably before he slams that subscribe and smash is that like button? <laughs> God fucking damn it. Kids, please never become YouTubers. Top 10 moments in Ultra Kill, number one. You're fucking dead. I finally understand it now. In order to beat the YouTubers, we have to tap into their only weakness. Children. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Go, go, gadget allegations. Jesus Christ. Fucking I don't think his channel's gonna recover. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you walk in. I was busy watching random unprotected security cameras. Welcome to Claire de Lune. Such a I calm like level, could very peaceful. Do not an knock on the security. doors. I really appreciate the uh, oh shit, watch out, I'm coming through. The ambience. For you see, the church demands a sacrifice, and the only way to appease it is to provide to me these bodies three. To do this, we have to calmly and meticulously break into your house. And after gathering all three of the balls, we finally unlock the power to jump through the window. Good to see that I'm using my time wisely. Oh, fuck, here I come. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought it would be obvious, brother. After all, I am you, but strong. Dude, they just called a Doom Eternal. Ancient Gods Part 2, who? You literally are fighting yourself. You aren't the only one who's after God, brother. Wait, is that actually... Welcome everybody to the race war. It's a little bit fast, you know, just kind of quick. I mean, look at this shit. The fight is so fast, it's editing itself. What side are you on, Bloods or Crips? I will be joining the war on drugs on the side of the drugs. The gimmick for V2 is that he is completely wacko. I don't know what keeps going on, I'm so sorry. You can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you, except dodge because that would be weird. Needless yeah. to say, <laughs> this fight is very difficult, mainly because V2 is so fast, he's goddamn omnipresent. Good luck trying to fucking heal, because hitting him up close is a Parkinson's simulation. I just want to fucking shoot him. Human brains are not fucking built for this. We're supposed to be threshing wheat and dying of smallpox. Looks like you've gone a little rusty, brother. <laughs> I think that something is wrong with my copy of DMC. There's this annoying motherfucker inside of it. <laughs> you think you can best me? After all Shut up. Overall, though, the beauty of this fight is that it is simple, but complicated. 
complicated. Simple in that he has your moveset, but complicated in that he has your moveset. <laughs> Don't worry though, you'll get a lot of practice with him over and over and over again. The beatings will continue until morale improves. You're just a fucking nigga! Okay, I get it, but honestly, that's what makes this fight fun. We choose to kill V2, not because it is easy, but because he won't stop talking. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a GoPro to throw into the fucking sun. Yes, go, go, gadget comedy. car bomb. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that one a draw. Team Rocket is pissing off again! <laughs> uh, it looks like he Did forgot he his arm. Leg? I don't oh. know if this is legal in California. So the new arm is a bit funky. My brain's way monkey. too delayed to recognize any of this. I'm so want. confused but right now. What it is good for is reducing the enemy into but the I love it. particles. You better not catch these hands because now they're shooting oh, for 12 catch these hands The any only day. downside is that uh, you can't hit your bullets anymore. So honestly, it's fucking dog shit, and I'm going to kill my infant son. Welcome, everyone, to the Lair of Lust. I am already installing Azerlane. It's this game about chips, and you can marry children. So after many fistings in the sewers, we make it to the bounce pad and enter a... Cyberpunk. That's right, we're in Night City now. Wake the dog up, Samurai. Here we've got all the amenities of a dystopia. Street Warfare, Amazon Training Video, Nightmare Obelisk, The Corpse of King Minos, and of course, Death Trampoline. <laughs> I, um, having fun there, guys? Because I'm having a blast. V, I've got a job for you. Your Windows machine has virus. So far, every level has introduced to us a new word. You know, like Dora. Words like anger or fear come to- Sorry, I don't- I don't know what keeps happening with my PC. ...criticality, which is a very welcome addition. You know, when the enemies work, I have discovered their only weakness, slight altitude difference. This place <laughs> will see us ascending the MC Escher Tower, contemplating the sweet embrace of death, and eventually descending down the, uh, shaft of lust. You have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme of verticality continues that. again as we make our way through an actual nice neighborhood. They, uh, gentrified the zombies. So to beat this level, we have to throw balls of copper into the power lines. It also has my new favorite enemy, Pepsi Man. But the most important thing in this level is the railgun. Oh my god, the railgun. This is the best thing in the entire game, Real as gun? you can see. Oh. And it comes in three unique flavors. Piercing Gatorade, Baja Blast, <laughs> and of course, the drill. Nobody uses the drill, but that is just the beginning, because this shit has tech. You can bounce it off coins, bounce it into the stratosphere, bounce it off grenades to nuke the planet, and most importantly, instant kill everything in the game by bouncing your shot three times. I would explain this mechanic to you, but That's we would like have to BFG consult the diagrams. Doom. If you would like to know more, all you have to do is watch an 18-minute YouTube video. Okay, seriously, guys, where's the, uh, where's the exit? I want to get off Mr. Minos's wild run. Hello, everyone, Tom Scott here, and today I am trapped at the south side of Chicago. <laughs> all right, guys, welcome back to, uh, Sheer heart attack. It has no weaknesses. This level is a lot like the others in that you cannot escape his gaze. It has the kind of verticality where you're locked in a corn maze. You see, the layer is a metaphor for my sanity. Always dropping. Man, what a nice looking city. Oh. It has so much texture. I can't believe Minos can use creative mode. Fucking doors stuck. D -d door stuck. Here we meet our newest enemy. Oh god, what is that? Its main abilities are teleportation, as well as making me feel a certain way. If only oh. it wasn't annoying as fuck. And once dispatched, she will, um, she will explode. You know what? All this violence is making me crave some secrets. But don't worry, this won't be anything like the last two. Those were not painful enough. All we have to do is track down the United States power grid. That way we can skip the level again. This shit always ends well. No, no, you, you can't do this to me. I don't, I, I, I don't want to be here. I think now's a good time to mention that you can buy body pillows from the Ultra Kill store. She tells you about how you're late for school and uh, the human mind is an evolutionary maladaptation. We need to destroy the left wing using facts and logic. Hello everyone, Dennis Prager here. God has told me the age of consent is too high. So after we finish debating liberal snowflakes on the internet, we finally decide to fix the aspect ratio. At least one of us has purpose in life. By the way, I'm playing an action game so uh welcome back to the climax this level takes place in the wonderful new york metro system we're here to investigate reports of the rat men also uh the train is fully compatible with my auto clicker they just forgot to set a cooldown. don't worry though it is literally faster to b hop instead gotta work on my trainless percent speed run I don't like the implications of this. Welcome to the, uh, boss fight. King Minos needs help putting his fist in a narrow cavity. It's a very simple fight, mostly just dodging his DK bongos. There really isn't much room to dodge here, and Minos can juju on that beat. But ultimately, every attack is fair and telegraphed, which is more than I can say for some games. All we have to do is help oh, him find his car keys. Go, go, gadget, revolver. 
don't worry, I'm no stranger to fistings in the subway. All we have to do now is um, offer a whole pizza to the rat god. I'm sure he'll be cheesed to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're just in time for the event. What event? Wiener compression oh, day. Oh. That must be the big boy now. Yeah, he must be the main event. What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Bugs Life. And today we're going to be living the 510 experience. King Minos is uh, kind of a big deal around here. Killing him is going uh, to be a tall order. This on, battle is deceptively simple, King's since five, his main attack is literally just huge. punching you. These hands have graduated from hitbox to hit tesseract, but that isn't all. Call right now and I will find you. Turns out, Minos can summon the power of the void, which, upon contact, reduces your HP to one. Y yo, hold up. Did my man just give me AIDS? The longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger he will become. <laughs> Of course, this is all before the parasites begin shooting at you, because there are just too few things in this fight, and not enough of them give me nightmares. I think your cells are a bit too far apart. How about I fix that for you? This is the kind of game where, at every possible turn, I have said to myself, wouldn't it be cool if? And the answer is always yes. So when I tell you that, um, you can parry this man, it's basically the rule instead of the exception. This is the coolest thing you can do in a video game. It makes me feel like an anime protagonist. Game devs, take notes. This is how you send the fun ceiling into the fucking stratosphere. And also uh, myself. You know it's a good boss when it has a space program. In summary, you have to try to make this fight boring, and even then, you might not succeed. Now if you'll There's excuse so me, I have a dead horse to beat, and his name is Minos. Not a ring. Oh! Oh! Lock on Damn. Oh no, I don't think I like where this is going. Oh, we're going inside him. Nice. That's blood. Hey guys, welcome back to the protagonist shaped bulge in Minos' stomach. We've got smelly enemies. We've got belly enemies. We've got to get out of the small intestine. Yeah, this looks uh medically accurate. Man's got eyes poop? on the inside. Surely this level we see is an oh, that has gauntlet, to be a specifically made Surely. to test your anatomical knowledge. You really have to understand the game inside and out. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> my it. favorite part of the body. Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> this shit is like nutty putty cake for osmosis Jones. <laughs> this is definitely me when I fill the double gold cup with the slurpee. I appear to be trapped inside of my mind prison. This is just like Persona 5. Now, I know that Minos' political stomach may seem like a weird idea for a level, but at this point, I'm used to it. I can never take back the things I've seen. It is a perfect way to visualize our descent into irreality. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect metaphor for this video. Why, yes, I do edit my videos to kill small animals. Why do you ask? Hey there, my flesh fans. Welcome back to the, uh, cool game where things are normal. How many teeth does he have inside back. him? No. I think I'm getting a Zoom call from God. For what purpose do you trample upon this palace machine? I mean, why do you? To question God is heresy, machine. But for your information, I am driving the corpse of King Minos like a fucking Mazda. Yeah, okay. okay. I always wonder if he's the one doing the narration. As the righteous hand of the Father, I will beat you back into silicon. I think someone has daddy issues. I do not have daddy issues. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Bible Study Time. We're learning about Stone Age. The important lesson when fighting Gabriel is that you can't fight on his terms. In fact, don't fight him at all. Uninstall the game. This angel is faster than you, hits harder than you, teleports behind you, so this and is overall a massive harder? sweat machine. I wonder if it hurt when he fell from heaven. Yes! It is very important to understand that Gabriel isn't an ultra kill boss. He's Senator Armstrong. Pure aggression is not going to cut it this time. We need to use patience and also open heart surgery. This oh. means that learning his attack patterns is key, and so uh, is abusing iframes like a drunk stupid. Really this best copy of Elden Ring is fucking weird. You may notice it's difficult to keep my camera on him. That is because this fight is psychotic. Every combo can be dodged if you are good at the game. But as for me, Gabriel beat my ass so hard that I saw Jesus, and he was hitting the cleanest gritty I'd ever seen. What if it is the gritty? I've never seen it. Excuse me? And if that wasn't enough for you, Gabriel has an entire second phase where he delivers God's judgment through the barrel of a gun. If you thought this fight was fast, then you haven't seen shit. I want to introduce my new OC, Shadow the Hedgehog. You are cringe, machine! You are not on What are you fucking saying? Overall, though, this fight really makes you feel like you're fighting an angel, because this shit is an act of God. It's but like personally, really I think it's better to long... reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Plus, I already have a God, okay, and now. his name is Money. I'm gonna 
have been playing the game and I'm exhausted. Bested by this. This Kokon. I'm actually a Nikon. We insignificant fuck! This is not May your L's be many and your bitches few. May your L's be many and your bitches few. I have never loved a phrase Has so the much. Abandoned the creator? Heresy! Heresy! Worthy of the holy light. Gabriel, you stand accused of losing to a fucking camera. But cancel my devotion is absolute. The machine was enough. You have 24 hours before the father's light leaves your body. And then, you will die a husk, a, a husk? thing. I suggest that you prove your faith. Do you understand? Yes, Council. Good. Mom, come pick me up, I'm scared. That was wild. <laughs> that was so wild. I don't know what kept happening to my PC halfway through that video. It just kept shitting itself. It just kept tabbing out and I really am sorry about that. But I'm not gonna lie, it did kind of save me from a lot of emotional abuse. This video has abused me so many times emotionally. At one point I was confused, scared, but very intrigued. Every video I, I tell myself I need, to, I need to mentally prepare myself. This time I tried to mentally prepare myself and then he said some weird shit and then I said some weird shit and then he said some even weirder shit and I was like, wait, what do I do now? This whole operation was your idea. <laughs> just confused. The game itself, like, I don't understand anything about the story of the game. Um, I know he explained it, but I think it was, he was going at like a hundred miles a second and I was just trying to get ready. He was at the destination by the time I was like, oh yeah, my socks are on. No, the game looked really good. It looked like a fairly old game. Imagine if you put Dark Souls and Doom together, but like, not, not the new Doom, like the old Doom. So the graphics of Doom or Halo with the mechanics of Dark Souls and every hard game known to man. Let me know in the comments if you guys have actually played this game. If you guys want to see another reaction to another Max or video or any video in general smash it into the comments down below smash that like button and also subscribe I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video I would like to give a massive shout out once again to G2A thank you guys so much for supporting my video once again this is the second time that these guys have sponsored my videos and I am forever grateful that video was insane like I feel like I have to go and microdose meth now just to be able to keep up with this video it is fantastic by the way that was a reference to ADHD I don't do math all right, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to go check out any more videos, smash them into the comments down below. Go ahead and recommend them. Go ahead and check out that link in the description below. Thank you so much to G2A for supporting and sponsoring this video. I am forever grateful. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.